a new Spanish lesson. guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to the channel welcome if you like dominican culture learning how to cook some dominican food learning how to read spanish yes a little fashion you are in the right place so welcome and if you like to support my channel go ahead and join my patreon page and if you want to know more about dominican culture go ahead and download my free ebook another day in paradise the beginner's guide to dominican republic at norberisar.com and in today's video we have another spanish lesson so let's get started. So in today's video, we are discussing different words that we use depending on the contents. I usually receive a lot of emails from people asking me where to use this word versus the other one. So we are going to discuss the difference between ser and estar, which is the verb to be. Also, we're going to do to with the accent and without the accent. And we're going to uh, talk about when to use por and para. So let's get started with the verb to be when to use ser and estar. So when do we use ser? We use ser when we talk about permanent characteristic that doesn't change over time. For example, I am short, soy pequeña, the table is red, la mesa is roja, I am a doctor, soy doctora. This characteristic doesn't change, doesn't matter if it's now or 10 years from now, it's still the same. Keep in mind the word ser have five conjugations and they are soy, eres, es, somos, sois, and so on, depending on the noun that you are using. For example, yo soy, tú eres, él, ella, usted es, nosotros somos, vosotros sois, ustedes, ellos son. And how to know when to use the word ser? Whenever you are referring to date, occupation, characteristic, time, origin, or relation. And an easy way to remember this is when you use the acronym DOCTOR. Date, occupation, characteristic, time, origin, and relation. So when do we use the word STAR? We use the word STAR when we talk about a temporary characteristic, something that changes with time. For example, I am happy. Estoy feliz. I am tired. Estoy cansada. Uh, the kitchen is dirty. La cocina está sucia. As you can see, this characteristic can change over time. For example, I'm tired. Estoy cansada. I can go to sleep and the next day I can be fine and not be tired. The kitchen is dirty. La cocina está sucia. I can clean the kitchen and the kitchen will be clean. Um, I'm sad. Estoy triste. The next set of it can change, I, will be, I can be happy. So this characteristic change from one time to another. As the word ser, the word star have six conjugations and they are estoy, estás, está, estamos, estáis, and están. And they gonna change depending on the noun that you are using. For example, yo estoy, tú estás, él, ella, están, nosotros estamos, vosotros estáis, and ellos, ellas están. How to know when to use the word estar? Whenever you are referring to a position, location, action, condition, and emotion. And an easy way to remember this is to remember the acronym PLACE. Position, location, action, condition, and emotion. So now let's discuss two with an accent and two without an accent. And this one is a very easy one. Two with an accent is a personal pronoun, and two without an accent is a possessive adjective. For example, tú tienes un perro. Tu perro es grande. You have a dog. Your dog is big. Basically, Two with an accent is you. Two without an accent is your. Possessive adjective. To use another example, you have a business. Your business make a lot of money. You, two with an accent, your business, two without an accent. This one right here is very easy. So now let's discuss the difference between the word por and para. 
And one easy way to try to remember the difference is that we use the word for when we talk about the cause or a duration of the action. And the word para when we talk about the effect or the line of a action. I'm going to give you two examples. One example is, if I ask you, how long it took you to cook this meal? You will say, I cooked this meal for two hours. And that is when you use the word for. Yo cociné esta comida por dos horas. This is using the word por. Now, if I ask you another question, is who you cook this meal for? I cook this meal for my family. And this is when you use the word para, and this is the destination. Yo cociné esta comida para mi familia. I cook this meal for my family, destination, para mi familia. How long it took you to cook this meal? I cook this meal for two hours, that's the duration. Cociné esta comida por dos horas. So let me give you another example. If someone asks you, for how long was your layover? You will say, my layover was for three hours in New York. Is that is duration. And they will ask you, for where? You will say, for Santo Domingo. That is the destination deadline. So you will say it in Spanish. ¿Por cuántos tiempos fue su escala? Mi escala fue por tres horas in New York. You use the word for, duration, for, deadline. ¿Para dónde? Para Santo Domingo. That is the destination. Para Santo Domingo. So in today's video, we discuss the difference or when to use the word ser and estar, when to use for and para, and how to use the word to with the accent and to with, without the accent. And if it was a little confusing for you and you still have some more questions, please leave a comment down below. And that is all what I have today. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.